this is the review for the Sigsor P226 made by KJW from Extreme Action Sports. Now you can see on the box, it says that the gun shoots 383 feet per second, but that's with a .12 gram BB, and I wouldn't recommend using a .12 gram BB in a gun like this. I would use a .2 or a .25 high polish BB. Now getting on to the gun, you can see it's a full metal. Right now we have olive color. Uh, you can also order a black for the gun. I know you all want to see the gun, but other stuff first. Comes with a nice little picture instruction manual that shows all the stuff as uh, far as loading the mag, taking it out, and um, the green gas, and also suppressors. Get into that later. Now, onto the gun. Like I said, full metal, olive right now. Magazine is also full metal, uh, green gas. Uh, dual stack, so it holds 25 rounds. The gun can hold one, so that's 25 plus one for a total of 26 rounds. Right here is your slide lock, and right here is the decocking lever. I'll show you how those work. Put the magazine in. Gun cocks back because there's no ammunition in there right now. So, to move the slide forward, simply push down on the slide release, and you're ready to fire. However, when you're done playing, and you need to decock this hammer, simply push down on this lever right here. Watch the hammer. Decock. Also, your takedown lever is right here. So pull back with a magazine out, and you can push this down. However, I'm not going to do that right now. Save some time. Again, you can see the decocking hammer working right here. Uh, you can also see the nice Sig Sawyer P226 decals on the gun. Also on the grip frame. Uh, magazine release right here, just like uh, most firearms. Um, so to load the green gas in, that pin right there. This is a KGW and uh, threaded magazine. However, this gun is Tokyo Marie compatible for SIG magazines. And also this threading right here on the barrel is Tokyo Marie threaded as well, or compatible at least. Now in the box, you get this loader right here to load the magazine. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. You get approximately 100 0.2 BBs with a nice KJ Works uh, decal on the box. And I'll load the magazine with the loader that's included. You have three different parts. You have the loader, the uh, BB rod, and the plunger. Simply take the loader, put it on the magazine like this with the tip facing forward from the front of the magazine. Place the metal rod in. Fill this with BBs all the way down and then just plunge it down like that all right and uh, one full tube should fill the magazine and like I said it's a dual stack so you want to make sure they stack nice you can also load the magazine from right here when you pull it down the spring with a speed loader or by hand but I would recommend using this because it's much faster and it uh, dual stacks it for you nice and well Put that all back in the box. You can see right here, everything fits nice in the box with your BBs, your uh, loader, and the gun going right here. Also, the gun comes with a nice tactical rail built in for your lasers and optics and all that fun stuff. Full metal, like I said earlier. So now let's take you to the chronograph room to fire and show you the speed with a .2 BB. Alright, so now we're going to do the shooting and chronograph test. So first take out your magazine. We're going to load it with the speed loader that came with the gun. Simply clamp this on over here. Nose facing out towards the front of the magazine. Bring the rod in. Now we're loading this full of BBs. The magazine holds 25 plus 1. So that means you can have 25 rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber. does take a while, it helps a lot if you buy a speed loader. It's good enough for now. Just simply just take the rod in and jam it down.
Now see how these are nicely dual stacked? When you load your magazine, you want to make sure that they alternate like that. Sometimes they'll uh, stack up singly like that, and you don't want that because that's going to jam your gun more often. Plus, you're not going to get as many BBs into a mag. So now you take your green gas can, tip it upside down, and hold it down for about five or six seconds. All right, now it's all set. So let's see how it shoots. Notice how the slide goes forward because there's now ammunition in the magazines. Nice blowback action. Now let's go a little faster. Now. Remember this is with a .2, 264, .263, .259, .259, .255, .256, .255, .253. Now let's shoot this out and see how this locks back. There you go. Locks back because you're out of ammunition. Simply take your other magazine out. If you buy another one, put it in, release the slide, and you're ready to go. Now we're out of ammo. We're so gonna decock the hammer. There you go. Shot about a consistent 260 feet per second. That is field legal at our field, which shoots 340 feet per second or under. And that's a six Sawyer KJW.